The Nisara hispidula growing wild here in the garden. Pretty stuff. Pink and yellow and white. Lovely. Very drought resistant. Beautiful stuff. Quite fragrant too. Vanissa hispidula. That's Lonicera hispidula, I believe, judging by pictures I've seen on Wiki and the internet and everything. It's from California, I think, the west coast of the United States anyway, and it's amazingly drought resistant. It's the most drought resistant honeysuckle I know, so it's very good for use in Australian cottage gardens. It has a different perfume to the normal yellow and white uh, honeysuckle that is common in gardens. It, um, that's more of a smell, a bit like a carnation, really. Like a carnation, I think. And it's very tough. I've seen it growing by old abandoned farmhouses. Let's have a close-up of it, anyway. Oh, that's my version of a, <laughs> of a close-up with my new camera. There it is. I think it's Lonicera hispidula. It does have some sort of berry, but whether it's edible or not, you'd have to ask the indigenous people of uh, North America. It's beautiful. The most drought-resistant honeysuckle I know. Oh. Beautiful Lanicera hispidula. Lovely stuff. I've got some growing around the house. I got this uh, by an abandoned farmhouse. You find it by abandoned farmhouses because it's one of the things that will last after people have gone. It's like where you might find um, Cecil Pinia gillesi, is it? It's rather tough still. It's not, it, it can survive, but this isn't. Uh, the specimens I found surviving weren't the healthiest. They were covered in green bugs, and aphids were they? Green bugs and things, but they are pretty tough. I found this one growing in an abandoned farm, by an abandoned farmhouse. It's beautiful. It's more waxy looking when you, when you look at it close up than a, a, the common honeysuckle that you see around. It's beautiful stuff. Beautiful. So much for automatic focus. Intelligent focus. What's that? That's a culling chair, sorry. Let's go and have a look at some grain of the house. 